October 20th, 2017. So we have reports of Billy Corrigan. Do you remember him? He was the lead singer for Smashing Pumpkins and is still uh, doing his own thing out there musically. He was on the Howard Stern Show and he shared what he experienced, uh, something that truly freaked him out. He says he saw somebody shapeshift into something that wasn't human. Um, what do you feel about that? Do you think that's possible? Uh, anyway, his story goes, let's just say I was with somebody and I saw a transformation I can't explain, he said on the Howard Stern show. The person transformed into something other than human, Stern said. Yes, Corrigan said. I saw it. Corrigan, who lives in Highland Park and runs a tea shop there, said he was sober at the time. There wasn't on any drugs or anything. Imagine you're doing something and then suddenly you turn around and there's somebody else standing there. A different human? Stern asked. Sort of. It's hard to explain without going into detail, Corrigan said. But did you say to the person, what did you just do here? That's not you? Yes. And they acknowledged it, Corrigan said. They wouldn't explain. He added, it's up there with one of the most intense things I've ever been through. Corrigan, who dropped his album on Friday, is transforming himself, billing his shows using his full name instead of Billy. He's scheduled to appear, uh, perform October 24th, 25th in Lakeview. No word if any shapeshifters will be in attendance. Um, so what do you feel about that? Do you think it's possible that there are beings out there that can shapeshift? Do you think that there's beings walking the earth that have that type of ability? Um, we have heard from uh, Alex Jones, David Icke, and others that so many of our top politicians are not truly human. Um, you know, we have photos of Hillary showing what appears to be just one tooth over here. And, uh, you know, the, there are many people that believe that she's some sort of reptilian human hybrid, um, as well as many other politicians. Uh, some people believe that really what's going on is that the humans are possessed by higher density entities beings that exist in a different dimension and it's sort of a demonic possession scenario um papa bush transforming and showing kind of demonic or reptilian looking eyes here um other legends are about the skinwalkers skinwalkers in case you don't know it um, they come out of the southwestern native american tradition and they are truly something that is kind of freaky to me too um, so a skinwalker is a person with the ability to transform into a different type of animal at will they are most like most frequently seen as coyotes wolves foxes eagles or crows some can also steal the faces of different people and could appear as somebody that you know if you accidentally lock eyes with a skinwalker they can absorb themselves into your body and take control of your actions like a possession Rare skinwalkers also have the ability to enchant the pow powder of corpses and use the substance as a poison dust on their victims. The legend of the skinwalkers originates from the Navajo, a southwestern Native American tribe. In the Navajo language, the word skinwalker is yi nagloshi and translates as to he who walks on all fours. Skinwalkers have only entered the public discourse relatively recently compared to other phenomena. In 1996, a team of scientists ventured into a Utah ranch to investigate a series of bizarre phenomena. And um, I did look into that years ago, back when it was happening. And um, I did, after that, do a lot of research on skinwalkers. And it seems as though um, you could view them as a certain type of medicine man that has the ability to transform himself into other beings and actually protect a lot of things that are sacred uh, to that particular Native American tribe. Um, so they are also able to run incredibly long distances, some say over 200 miles in the evening. They have a tendency to hang around graveyards, dig up graves at an impossibly fast speed. They can take many forms. Many people who see them today describe them as hollowed out dog-like animals. And this is a photo um, that shows in the background here somebody that wasn't there. 
and uh, supposedly wasn't there and was uninvited. Uh, I guess it was a daughter taking a photo of her dad. And if you look at it, there's somebody in the background just watching. Um, so anyway, that was supposed to be a skinwalker, as are these supposed to be pictures representing them. And you can see traditionally they were thought to be Native American medicine men that had the ability to shapeshift and change themselves at will, kind of like our European werewolf phenomenon. And here is an actual picture of a Native American in uh, his skinwalker garb. And this is a map of the Skinwalker Ranch where many, many things happened. Actually, if you check out the Four Corners area and start researching all the phenomenon that has gone on in the Four Corners area, it will amaze you. There is so much uh, unusual phenomenon going on over there from UFO sightings, Skinwalkers, Bigfoot, um, just all these unexplained things. I took a trip to the Four Corners area recently and uh, we had an unusual thing happen when we were camping out, but it could have been it could have been a bear, it could have been many different things, but it didn't sound like anything I had ever heard before. Anyway, I look forward to going back to that area again and doing some deeper research. Thank you all for joining us once again at Evolutionary Energy Arts. Please uh, drop a like if you like this video. Subscribe and share with others. Um, we look forward to seeing you all again. Take care out there.